Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number 11, um, I've decided to talk about the what font Chrome extension. Uh, now, for those of you who are who have seen the Bootstrap to Adobe Muse uh, video, then you've seen uh, the what font what font Chrome extension. Um, and this is a really useful tool. Let's say you're uh, designing a website or you're working off a template that you've seen online or you like a font that you see on a website. Uh, with the what what font Chrome extension, you can sample those fonts and see the font family, the font size, and the font color. Um, so you can use it for your own website. So in the description area below, I'm going to be leaving a link to the what font Chrome extension. Um, then you just add it to Chrome by clicking this button here, um, and then the icon will show up here in Chrome. Um, it's kind of an F with a question mark. Um, and it's what it's called what font so for as an example um, I'll go to a www.ards.com awards.com with three W's and let's say I'll go to this website here concerto and here it loads and let's say I want to sample these fonts here it's kind of cool let me just mute it for a second um, let's say I want to sample these fonts right up here what I'll do is I'll click on the what font icon and then I'll just hover my mouse over the icon or over the text and it tells me the text it's Canada type Gibson the font size is 15 pixels and the font color is white here I can click on here uh, this font is Valcorn uh, here that's the font family the font size is 30 pixels and it tells me the color as well so let's say for instance I want to use the the type here and it's actually Gibson bold here so I'll just go into Adobe Muse I'll open up the text option and then I'll go to the text and I'll type in Gibson I don't have Gibson so what I can do is go to the web fonts click on add web fonts and here I'll type in Gibson and there's no font there but in typekit there's the Gibson font and it's a Canada type there so that's the exact font that was used on that website so I'll click OK and we'll install the font and then I'll double click and I'll say for instance muse for you and then I'll highlight it and I'll type in Gibson and now I have access access to Gibson and that was Gibson bold because here if I go to what font it says Gibson bold right up here there it is and then the size was 15 pixels so I'll just make it 15 here and I have the exact font that was on that website just like that. I can make the browser fill black so I can make the text white so it looks just like that other text. I'll make the browser fill black. There it is. I'll bring in the font smoother because I like really smooth fonts. And there we go. Put it right, place it right in there. And I'll preview in the browser. Perfect. So there's that Gibson text that's on this website here. There it is. So that's the uh, the what font extension, and I'll make this text a little bit bigger so we can see it. That's the Gibson font there, and we'll stretch this out a little bit. There it is. Preview page and browser, and looks good. So you can do that with any any font on any website. I could go back to uh, awards and uh, just find another website here. For instance, this one. and let's see if there's any text here so here for this text i'll just go to what font and there i click on it. it tells me it's circular book the size of the font and the font color so yeah and you can do this for any any font right there it tells me the font name and the size and the color all right so that's it for this quick tip it is what font um, I will leave a link to, to it in the description area below. And if you haven't seen the Bootstrap to Adobe Muse uh, video, I'd recommend watching that. Because along with uh, creating guides and along with the Fireshot Chrome extension, you can take picture of a website and basically sample a website for your own uh, design. Um, you know, if you like a layout of a website, you can kind of work with the layout of that website by taking a screenshot and then uh, using what font to sample, you know, or to see what fonts are used for that website. Uh, so that's it for quick tip number 11, um, sampling font fonts with the what font Chrome extension. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.